Hello and welcome, today we're going to craft a spoon ring. And for spoon rings it's recommended to use silverware. But for the purpose of this video and practice I'm using spoons made of other materials. But if the spoon is silver plated you can of course use some clear spray paint to make the ring wearable. I found these rings in a second hand store and I looked for spoons which were easy to bend. You need some pliers to cut off the spoon part from the spoon, a file to get a round edge, a mandrel to get the right size and shape, a plastic or rubber hammer and a wooden block which you use beneath the mandrel while hammering. And of course we're also going to polish the ring afterwards. If you don't know which size you need, but have a ring that fits well on your finger, you can use this ring by placing it on the mandrel and read from the scale which size you need. You can remember the size for now, but we're not going to use it until later. By placing a spoon on the mandrel, I can use hand force to create the basic ring shape. When you have created the basic ring shape, you can use the pliers to remove the spoon part. And then use the file to remove the sharp edges created by cutting. We are then replacing the ring on the mandrel and then using the hammer to shape the rest of the ring. We are starting off rather high and working our way down on the mandrel, step by step. I'm even going to move further down than the size we need. So for example if we need a size 10 I'm going to move down to a size 8. And this is because when resizing or making the ring larger again the ring will automatically be rounder. When working with spoon shafts, the shaft itself is not equally hard all the way and therefore some parts need more work than other to get round. I have now reached a roundness and a size which I'm pleased with. But both ends of the shaft does not connect in the middle. And therefore I'm going to use some hand force and the wooden block and uh, rubber hammer to align both edges. And with some finishing polishing with the screwdriver, the ring project is done. If you like this video, you may like some of my others, which you can find here to the right. Hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one.